Basket by the Black Family. Uh, on the left is a piece by uh, Ryan Hanyudi. More Kachinas. And this open. This is an interesting piece. It's a pomo ba basket that's made by hummingbird feathers and shells, and it's from a California tribe. These two are pomo baskets. As we go on down, this piece is a club and uh, horse hair on the end and beaded work. The pot behind it is by Elizabeth Medina. I bought that from her at her home. And in this piece of pottery are uh, arrowheads that are from my farm and documented by um, Mr. Bryant who runs Sticks and Mounds. Down here are Arctic dolls and uh, some more moccasins and pottery. Piece over here is by Autumn Forts. First piece I bought from uh, Mrs. Campbell. This on the floor is uh, one of our best pieces. We got this, um, oh shoot, just forgot the name of the trading post. It's two Gray Hills rug, very large. Okay, I guess we'll go here. More pots, beadwork, and kachinas. I love these little dolls by Darlene James Nampeo. Various kachinas. Just a whole assortment. in the center is by Fanny Nampeo and it's an eagle wing design um, which they felt will carry prayers. Up here is uh, Sylvester Hestia abstract piece of uh, thunder and lightning. Young guy we've gotten to know. And another one of uh, Greg Loma Yespa's. And on the back of it, it's carrying, that kachina is carrying corn in its basket. This bronze is by Roxanne Swinzel, and it's called Dreaming of Pots to Make. Roxanne is from Santa Clara. She does the work in clay first and then these bronze pieces. This is by Mavasta again, Dragonflies, the Night Sky, and these are Cricket Kachinas. This was featured at uh, the Wheelwright Museum. Another one of Greg Lomiespa's. The mantra headpiece. This is called Flower. 
that's a bronze that Nora Norang homemade, and uh, that just reminds me of Hazel, and will be hers. These are some of my favorite pieces, so they're in the family room. Work at the top by the Hanudis, Brian again. Brian was um, an albino, and that was the first piece I bought from him. These are by Mavasta. Here's my miniature collection of tiny pots. And work by um, other Hopi artists. This is by High C. Dexter's daughter, Steve Lucas. This is another one by High C. And this is by the old lady, Nampeo, like at the front door. I have I think two of her pieces. This one over here is by Blue Corn. She was uh, at San Aldefonso at the time of Maria, too. And this is the first Maria I bought. It has its provenance and piece of paper inside. On the wall over here, that painting is by Delona Roberts. We've had that a long time. It's the uh, shows the blankets in the back of uh, three Navajo ladies. If we turn around here. This is perhaps my favorite piece. It's um, called Oh My by Roxanne Smetzel. And she sits on our table every day and talk about what's going on. And then she goes, oh my, it's bronze. First created in uh, clay and then in bronze. And over in the corner, we call this um, Anita. Anita Fields made it, and it's this lady, all done in clay, with the Osage ribbon work done, and then this is, uh, it looks like an obi to me, but it's some of her family linen um, handkerchiefs made into this dress. Again, Harry surprised me with this piece, this huge crate cane. Anita Fields. I think that does it on this floor, Scott.